Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner, y'all. Now in this video, we're gonna actually be checking out a map that is based off of the summer testing grounds. However, it has been entirely rebuilt. I'm really trying not to make a uh, built from the ground up Forza reference, because uh, those are very, um, they're very easy to make, uh, especially in scenarios like this. However, we're gonna go ahead and explore around this map and see what it's all about. I also wanna go ahead and say right here at the top um, that any mods or vehicles or anything like that uh, that y'all see me using in the video, uh, all of those will be linked in the description box down below. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of a lap. Huh? <laughs> Almost. I forgot this thing had that much torque and <laughs> oh, I almost ran into the little guardhouse like right out of the gate. I love how the river is like almost exactly the same. However, it's been redone with all new rocks and rock textures um, that honestly look a whole hell of a lot better. Oh my God. Why are you so all over the road? Oh, there's the swamp. Oh, that actually looks, that actually looks like they made it a little, a little larger. And it honestly also looks like there's a lot more trees. Although I wouldn't be surprised if um, the tree density is bumped up on this mod version because I feel like on the standard testing grounds, they probably wanted to keep the tree density down, uh, probably from the standpoint of just overall performance. Oh, this is sick. Oh, it honestly, it honestly looks like they um, turned this into a little rock crawling course. I mean, kind of, sort of. Oh, come on. I mean, not exactly my best line choice in the world, but... Oh, there we go. Oh, it's got it. Oh, what? Oh, I had no idea they were gonna put a tower up here. That was almost sketch. For real, that was almost so sketch. this genuinely i love how they took sort of the um the unused space here from the original uh summer testing grounds and literally recycled it and repurposed it um to have a lot more just usable area and usable gameplay opportunities i think that's sick i do need to watch my speed because honestly, if I overdo my speed on the way down, why did I smack my microphone? However, like I said, uh, I really don't want to overdo my speed uh, on the way back down because if I overdo it, uh, I'm going to end up on my lid and I really don't want to do that. Especially like not this early into the, uh, into the adventure. I do genuinely love though, uh, how they have used all of the space available to them here. Whereas the original one, honestly, it had a lot of, I'm not necessarily gonna call it wasted space, uh, but it had a lot of space that just never got used for much. So, oh, I recognize this. I feel like finally we can use a little bit of the power. Oh, come on. Oh, you've got it. Oh, this thing is so much fun to drive. Uh, I do always forget though, um, how much wheel speed you actually lose if you're below like fifth gear. Um, well, honestly more like below um, fourth gear because if you're below fourth gear, 
a lot of your speed just like drops off so freaking quick. Oh, the mud bog has definitely been expanded though. That is massive. The mud is also definitely thicker. <laughs> Although, I say that, uh, but I'm also not entirely sure if that's correct. The section with the lanes, um, the section with the lanes is definitely widened. However, the lanes themselves definitely don't look the same. I do wonder, though. I wonder if they're still progressive. They're definitely gnarlier. Honestly, as much as I do love this little Land Cruiser, I kind of want to go get something that is a little more, let's just say a little bit more directly applicable um, to mud. I'm sure this will do the trick. Although I will say, check this out. So if you flip, or rather if you don't flip, hold on. Uh, I'm going to do what I'm best at in SnowRunner and go ahead and make this thing flip real quick. There we go. Now, if you end up... Oh my god, am I... <laughs> uh-huh. So, I love how when I actually try to demonstrate a rollover, I either cannot get the truck to roll over, or... I get it to go into a rollover, a pretty wild rollover, and then it just ends up landing back on its wheels. Although, whenever I don't want to roll over, that's when I end up dropping it on its side or on its lid. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so essentially, what I wanted to demonstrate was how on the standard summer testing grounds, you always have basically no option but to either spawn a new vehicle or drive back to the garage. However, on this version, you can just go ahead and recover, which is so convenient. Oh, I forgot how terrifying this truck was. Especially once you get it into boost. Well, oh, this will be interesting. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh. Honestly, I'm really shocked. Uh, I'm super shocked that that's about as far as we got in high. Now, granted, we could have gone for a larger tire. Um, and that would have probably helped us get a little further. But honestly, for the tires that we have, uh, which I think, roughly, these are about 54s. Um, but for the tire size we're running, that wasn't too bad. I do want to go ahead and get turned around, though. At least after I go through here. Oh, this is bad. This is even worse than the than the other part. Honestly, I probably wouldn't even recommend coming in here uh, with anything other than a fully built mud truck. And I mean, this is close, but it's definitely a little outside of the realm of what I would consider a uh, fully built. Oh, you're almost there, though. Almost. There we go. Is it? Oh my god. Honestly, I don't even think I could replicate that over. Uh, even if I tried like desperately. <laughs> and honestly, uh, it would not even remotely be a remake of the summer testing grounds if it didn't have the bridge jump. So we're going to see. Uh, what happens when we send this thing uh, off of the remade bridge jump? Oh, I love how it has the same camera glitch. Let's go. That's so much further. Although, I mean, honestly, we still made it. So 
I am not disappointed with that at all. So if y'all enjoyed this look at the completely redone version of the Summer Testing Grounds, then let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. And if you're new and would like to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and of course, turn those notifications on. And I will see y'all next time.